Hi guys. Hi coach. Uh, I'm a little bit early today guys and so I'm glad if you're able to join me early. Um, I have a son who has a baseball game today. So it is Tuesday so that's good but it's not 4 o'clock. It's 345. So um, Thank you for being able to join me just a little bit early. My son, he is a freshman this year and he actually has just recovered from an injury. Hi from Texas. And this is his first season back after being off for a year. So kind of want to catch that game. But I can't leave you guys hanging out there. So um, hi there. Hi Laura from Cleveland. So I am joining you here. I'm Andrea Schindler. Hi from St. Louis. Um, Andrea Schindler, co-founder of Whole Brain Teaching, and been meeting here every week this year. This is a new uh, thing for us being on Scope. Hi there, Kristen from Bozier. Oh, good to see you. I'm hearing so many things happening over there. Coach has been pumping you guys up, so Whole Brain Teaching must really be taking off. So, um, I am Andrea Schindler from Whole Brain Teaching, Whole Brain Teachers of America. Hi there. Uh, we have we are just a group of teachers meeting every week. Oh, rough day. I am so sorry. Hey, I have those too. Good to see you guys. Um, if you have those rough days, I have them too. This is my 14th year and let me tell you, it happens. And sometimes I find I just have to slow down and regroup and revamp. So uh, you send hearts by tapping the screen, I think, if that's correct. Oh, and please share out there. If you guys can share, I, I think you hit the little, you tap the screen for the hearts and then you hit the little Perry bird um, to share it out. So um, thank you guys for meeting here. And to my friend who had a hard day, hey, tomorrow's a new day. Go in with a game plan and you may just have to scale it back and start working on the basics. Sometimes I've got to go back to whole brain teaching boot camp. So I, I, oh, I'm glad to hear that WBT was your savior. But even when you've got that under your belt, sometimes you just got to go back to the basics and do a little WBT boot camp with your kiddos. So, um, again, I'm sorry. I'll do that introduction again. I'm Andrea Schindler. For those who just joined me from Whole Brain Teaching, Whole Brain Teachers of America, if you guys are interested in learning more about Whole Brain Teaching, please check out our website, wholebrainteaching.com. There is a ton of free downloads there. Also, Chris Biffle, the founder of Whole Brain Teaching, comes on Scope every Sunday at 1 o'clock. So he um, is here every Sunday, 1 o'clock Pacific time. So you definitely want to catch that. So we've been meeting here every week just talking about different topics. And we've recently changed gears up a little bit and started talking about participation and motivation. And so we have talked every week on how to boost up our participation and boost up our motivation. Thanks, Coach, for putting up our website there. And uh, we paused for a little bit on the scoreboard. And then we took a pause in the middle of the scoreboard because our scoreboard has a lot of levels. We'll be picking up those levels next week. But for this week, we took a pause last week and now this week on our activities game list and so this was something that we talked about last week coach I don't know if we say this to you enough but you are a genius because this is just an amazing piece and I don't know if any of you guys out there had um, saw this last week and started using yes a genius like that's that's, that's just an understatement there coach um, so yes, are they loving the game switch up? I'm so excited to hear that. I have had the greatest week this week with our games activities list. My kids have seemed so much more focused. It has eliminated the when are we going to get to do this next because we have the list. And so we are referring to it all the time. We made Coach Beat blush. Coach B, you can blush all day long. You are a genius. So this list has really helped to boost up in my class the participation. I hope it's helped you guys this week. We're going to do a little review. Today's scope is going to be a little bit short, not just because of the game. I'm just going to show you a little switch up in it that's going to help boost it up even more. So let's take a look over here. We're going to look at my game list. And I'm just going to remind you on this game list, the way we're going to break it down here is 
here's our, our list. And we have the names of our activities going down the side, which is basically our classroom schedule. And then down on this side, we have the game that we're gonna work on and what tool we're gonna use for that game that we're working on. So for example, here I have, we're working on the game of the class, yes, and I'm gonna use our scoreboard to give our students some points on the scoreboard when they're doing two grade levels higher. Remember that our green represents two grade levels higher. So then as we went throughout our day, now during my morning message, I was focused on the mirror words and we were gonna hone in and use that scoreboard. Then during the calendar routine, here we have mirror words again, and I was using super improve routine. And these can move around, guys. So you're gonna move them around different parts of the day. You're gonna say to yourself, you know what, which was something that I did today. During my calendar routine, I got a lot of students doing the teach okay, and they're not using their mirror words with their partners. So you know what, now I'm gonna look for two grade levels higher, and I'm gonna do the super improvers team. So you're gonna strategically place these strategies throughout your day when you're seeing different times of the day that you're needing them to work on these. They are, and they're portable. And here, take a look. This is my pocket chart here, and it moves. So it makes it really easy because we can move it around wherever we need to, and we're able to move the activities up. And so, this week has been a great week for me using the activities list and last week all the way up this past week. And my kiddos are super hyped up about taking a look at what we're doing and then looking what our focus skill is. But I wanted to go back to what I was telling you guys about during our calendar routine. I wanna remind you guys that when we're using mirror words, I'm using mirror words whenever I'm teaching but at this point in the school year, my kiddos are also using the mirror words with each other. So when they are sharing an answer, my kiddos, they are teachers now, guys. They are working on teaching each other. So when I do the teach and they do okay for our teach okay, they are turning to their neighbor. One person says class, the other one says yes, this person says mirror words, this person says mirror words, and then this person is going to be sharing out their answer while this person is doing the mirror words. And then they do the uh-oh switch, either if I call oh switch or the high five switch to switch to the other person. Now let me tell you, in the class, you often have some, yes, student teachers, coach. They're not just friends. Coach said, hey, they're not just friends. They're teachers. They're student teachers. Students teaching one another. And let me tell you how engaging this has been for them. First of all, they love being little mini teachers. But the other thing is, we don't want just one person talking while the other person is just idly sitting there listening. And especially if you guys have kindergartners or young ones, You'll notice, and maybe this goes all the way up, but if I have one person talking, the other person is often off task or looking around the room or picking at the carpet or pulling on their shoelaces or putting their hands on their neighbor. Give me some hearts out there if you have any kind of these behaviors going on. So these behaviors are disruptive behaviors. These are behaviors that get our challenging students into trouble, so we've gotta keep them engaged. So when they turn to their neighbor, they are teaching their neighbor by being a teacher, by calling the, the class yes to their neighbor, by using the mirror words, and then this person who is not giving their answer, who is the listener, is actually mirroring the answer from their partner. So I was, I bumped it up this week. We weren't even just talking about doing mirror words, me looking for two grade levels higher than doing mirror words with me. Oh no, my friends, when I showed you that calendar routine, during my calendar routine, when they're teaching their neighbor, I wanna see them using two grade levels higher mirror words with their partners. So I hope that was clear to you guys. Whole Brain Teaching, what I love about this is the more you start to dip your feet into the Whole Brain Teaching pool, the more layers and the more depth you'll find. There is a big deep end, my friends. We have so much further to go and there's so much more that you can do with it. So when you're challenging your kiddos to do two grade levels higher, what do I mean by two grade levels higher? So 
Oh, coach, give me a you're still cool. Okay, my friend out there who just asked the question, I'm gonna answer your question, but for the rest of us, can we, we're doing a new format, and we can hold off and do the questions at the end of the scope, that would be awesome, because it, what happens with the questions on scope is they come up, and then sometimes they disappear, or I don't always see them, so if we save them for the end, then that's gonna be a lot smoother. But to answer you, we are always working, Thanks, Coach B. I think that was your idea, huh? <laughs> so, um, and now you're making me blush. So two grade levels higher is what we're always working on. So what does that mean? If I'm a kindergarten kindergartner, I'm always working on thinking, looking, and acting like a second grader, which is two grade levels higher. If you teach second grade, they're trying to work at a fourth grade level. If you're teaching fifth grade, they're working at a seventh grade level. We're always bumping it up two grade levels higher. Now we talked last week, we had someone who came in and said, you know, that doesn't work so well for uh, middle school. For middle school, they were having a hard time. And we made this suggestion, and I make this suggestion to all of you, whether you're having a hard time getting them motivated for two grade levels higher, regardless. If you're not even having that issue, a great idea, a great strategy that someone shared with me is showing a whole brain teaching video of a classroom that's using whole brain teaching two grade levels higher because then they're gonna actually see those kids in action using the whole brain teaching strategies and instead of walking around in your halls and seeing, like for example, when my kids are walking around and they see those second graders out in the halls, I'm thinking, okay, I want you to act like second graders, but not those second graders. So show them a video of second graders, show them a video of fifth graders, show them a video of middle schoolers, show them a video of what whole brain teaching looks like two grade levels higher. So now that I've got you on the two grade levels higher, now we're gonna move up from there and I'm gonna introduce you to how we can change up our games activity list and make it even that much more bumped up with our motivation and our participation and actually bring them up even higher. So let's take a look over here. And yes, if you go to YouTube, Chris Biffle, they will bring teaching lessons there and you can find a whole bunch of lessons to show your students. All right, the color coding we talked about last week was very important. The color coding, the green, remember, two grade levels higher. But now take a look, my friends. I have been working on these skills for a while. I've had my games activity list up for quite a while. My kids are, um, they're loving this list. But now, before it loses its luster and its variety, I've gotta bump up the variety. So what am I gonna do? Well, then one day I might just I might just introduce something that looks like this. I'm gonna change this up. So if you can see out there, guys, now I have green. I'm sorry. Give me a you're still cool. Now I have blue. Mirror words, super improvers team. So some of you what does the green mean or what does the blue mean i know the green means two grade levels higher and what does that blue mean well let's take the blue is going to be three grade levels higher my friends so now maybe you've no yes you got it out there three grade levels higher so maybe your kiddos have been working on two grade levels higher mirror words in my case for the calendar routine we've been working on that for a couple weeks you know what guys now I'm not just looking for two grade levels higher, now I'm looking for three grade levels higher. And guess what? I've noticed that during the end of my day, during my science and my math, man, my kiddos, it's after lunch, they're getting lazy on me, I need to bump up the enthusiasm in my classroom. So I think that's gonna be a great time for me to bump it up and go three grade levels higher. Here we go, three grade levels higher in science with even bigger gestures, with even more dramatic voices, with even more laser-like focus, whatever it is you're working on here. I'm gonna bump it up because I know that at the end of the day, my kids need to bump up the participation and the motivation. So now I've decided, my here's my class activities list, now here in this part of the day, now I'm bumping it up. I wanna see three grade levels higher. Down here, 
science and math, I've decided I'm gonna bump it up. Now I wanna see it three grade levels higher. And you them demonstrate. What do you think it looks like? So for my kiddos, now what does it look like when a third grader does this? What is it gonna look like when a second grader does it as opposed to when a third grader does it? So if a third grader is doing it, they're gonna do bigger gestures. They're gonna do bigger mirrors. They're gonna use, we, um, we've been talking about virtues. Coach B has been talking about virtues. And so we have our smart choices. We have our kindness. We have our leadership courage okay so when i'm standing up and i'm leading an answer or if i'm turning to my neighbor and i'm teaching an answer how do i do that with courage what kind of a voice do i have with courage what kind of a courageous voice would a third grader use or three grade levels higher so why are we doing this guys because during the day we are going to see even though we are popping in all of this variety throughout the day and we're changing up the activities and we're making it um, we're changing it up all day long and giving the kids all kinds of variety we're going to notice that there's still going to be points during the day where you get that low, where you're gonna get a dip in your participation, where you're gonna get a dip and all of a sudden those gestures are just not as tall anymore. All of a sudden those voices, yes, loud and proud, blue voices. All of a sudden those voices, they're not standing up straight. They're not sitting up tall. All of a sudden it's like literally the gravity of the earth is starting to pull their bodies down into the ground. So how are we gonna boost them back up? We're gonna push them to do three grade levels higher. And so our game is gonna be, and remember guys, we're calling this the game. This is gonna be the game of, how do we do? The game mirror words, three grade levels higher. And when we're showing we're doing the game of mirror words, three grade levels higher, then we're gonna make some star lines on the super improvers team. Down here during our science and math, when we're doing those mirror words, guess what? Again, three grade levels higher, we're gonna go ahead and give some star lines on the super improvers team. And then maybe down here during math, you know what? I'm looking for three grade levels higher, hands and eyes. What would a third grader look like with laser-like focus, eyes on me, and hands folded? Well, those hands are gonna be folded pretty tight, guys. And if I'm looking for three grade levels higher and I'm looking for someone who's leading with the hands and eyes, then I might just reward them with leadership loss going to sprinkle these moments throughout the day and get them going on to great yeah straight blue backs good job coach straight blue backs sitting up tall hey guys this is one coach this is one i've been emphasizing a lot this year is elbows up okay we sit on the carpet guys and so oftentimes what i'll have is i'll have some of these kiddos who are doing their gestures and they're like leaning over on their elbows. Oh no, okay? We don't have elbows down, we've got those elbows up. When I'm doing gestures in the air, my elbows are up and I'm not leaning forward. No way, right coach? We're not leaning forward on our arms while we're doing our gestures. We're sitting up with a straight back with our elbows up and our gestures are high in the air. So, our activities list, remember, we're gonna start out with the green and we're gonna really work that list with the green. Once we've got them going with two grade levels higher, we're gonna start placing, um, placing in blue throughout the day to make it three grade levels higher. So where would we go from there, guys? Well, there's only one place we can go. Once we've got them going, we've got that blue in there and you're gonna see maybe a green activity, green activity, blue, green, blue, green, blue. So you're gonna see different spikes in the day of levels and energy that you really wanna get them going. But then we can't stop there, guys. We've always gotta keep them challenged. So eventually, you're gonna to wanna to get them to look. Yes, coach, good point. All of this to produce maximum student engagement. Well, once these kiddos are doing a great job. Maybe you've got quite a bit of blue going on here and they've really got that class yes down and they've got those mirror words down and they're really working at most of the day. We're going three grade levels higher here, guys. And we've got maximum engagement, maximum participation, maximum enthusiasm. Here's our day. We're really going strong with our three grade levels higher that's when you're gonna introduce and you're gonna to say to yourself, you know what, during science, 
I'm having those kids get up. They're leading the class in mini science lessons and in their answers. So you know what? Here's what I want them to do. I don't want them just getting up and leading like a two grade levels higher. In my case would be second grade or three grade levels higher. No, I'm gonna push them just a little bit more. Now, I want them getting up and teaching and leading. I'm gonna put in the red here. Now we're gonna talk about what does it look like? Five grade levels higher. So our red is gonna represent five grade levels higher. Now let me think, during math, you know, during math, I want them getting up and leading their answers, but I also want them proving their answer and telling me why their answer is right. I want them using a complete sentence and I want them standing up and leading that answer with the class. So I don't just want, want that two grade levels or three grade levels higher. Now I'm gonna have that five grade levels higher. Oh, let's see, let's put that mirror words there. All right, so take a look here guys. Now we've got our blue, which is gonna represent three grade levels higher, okay? We've got our green, which is two grade levels higher. We've got our red, which is five grade levels higher. Having students, when I find, and I, we haven't gotten to this point yet because this is all new stuff from Coach. So give Coach lots of hearts out there. Yeah, we skip four grade levels higher. No, we're not just going to four grade levels higher. We're jumping five grade levels higher. So when we finally get to that point, I'm going to have these kids. You know what? When I say for this student to lead an answer and I say all eyes on and I say that student's name, I want them jumping up out of their seat, calling the class as they're rising up. I want them using big, exciting, dramatic gestures. I want them using gestures like a fifth grader. This is going to boost up the level of excitement in your classroom. If you have kids doing a teach okay and they're teaching each other, well, guess what? They sh the teacher shouldn't just be sitting down. The teacher is going to be standing up. So whichever student is leading their answer with their neighbor is going to be standing up. And they're going to be using exciting gestures and they're going to be using dramatic voices this is where we bump up the centricity and honestly guys i can't wait to get to five grade levels higher because this is where the fun begins this is where their enthusiasm comes in and if you've been watching coach on those scopes that's where we're going to bring in the creativity we're looking for creativity in those gestures we're looking creativity in the voices that they're using guys this is going to bump up the participation. You're definitely going to want to pull this out during parts of your day where you're wanting to have students lead their answers but lead with enthusiasm. You're going to want to pull this out during a part of the day where maybe you're noticing your students are really getting lazy and they're not and the excitement level is going down so you're going to use it to bump up the excitement level. Five grade, le grade levels higher guys. This is bigger than anything we can imagine. I, I actually can't wait to do the five grade levels higher. So hi there. I'm glad you're there and you made it live. So let's take a look over here. And oh, Coach B says there's a rubric coming for two and three and five grade levels higher. Give Coach some hearts. I can't wait for the rubric. So let's do a little review over here. And here's our games list. And when we started out, remember we had green here. We had green all down the side. Green was our two grade levels higher. Thinking, looking, and acting two grade levels higher. Coach B is gonna be getting us a rubric, so we're looking forward to that. After you've used this activity list for a while, then you're gonna pop in blue here from time to time, and that's gonna represent three grade levels higher. Three grade levels higher is gonna be bigger better and faster, bigger gestures, better gestures, bolder gestures, and faster in whatever they do. And then here we go. Eventually we're gonna add in the red, which is five grade levels higher. This is where you're gonna see the fun trip off the roof. This is where we're gonna have kids jumping up out of their seats using their excitement. Oops, using their excitement using their big gestures, using their enthusiasm, and using their creativity. So, I hope this helps you guys. This is gonna be our tool for getting everybody organized 
And if you have any questions out there, this would be the time for the questions. So I think Coach B asked a question. And I love that, Coach B, you're asking me. But his question was, um, oh, okay. If you lost the connection, I would definitely um, advise for you, if you didn't get to see last week's scope, you're going to want to check it out on Catch, K-A-T-C-H. You're going to want to check that out first. Because last week, we went over setting up our list in green. And now this week, all of a sudden, we're bumping it up and we're boosting up the participation and the level of participation in our classroom and just the energy and the enthusiasm. So um, how can I get this? How can you get to, how? I don't know what you mean by how can I get this? Do you mean how can you get, if you go to Catch, which Coach put it up there, K-A-T-C-H, you go on there and you make an account and you look up me, Andrea Schindler, we've got all of the past scopes archived. And then Coach asked a question, and I would probably ask you the question back, but the question was, how long do we stay on green? And for me, I'm going to give you my answer. We have just barely started using the activities list. So I feel like once we've got that activities list under our belt and the kids are really getting used to the activities list, I'm going to be ready to start popping in the next color, which is the blue, right away. Because I want to start bumping up those levels of participation. Right now, because my kinders, they're five, so my kinders are little, I'm going to start out just getting them used to going through that activities list. And once they've got that pattern down, I'm ready to start putting in that blue. Because I really want to bump up the enthusiasm. And between you and me, guys, I'm actually anticipating getting to the red because that's the level of participation I really want to see my kids at. So um, hopefully that helps. And if there's any other questions, I think I missed a few out there. I, I, I believe I saw someone who said that they were new to whole brain teaching. Like Coach B said, start with the class yes in the mirror words. And if there's four you could do, I would start with the class yes, the mirror words, the teach okay, and the scoreboard. So I'll say that again. The class, yes. The mirror words. The scoreboard. And the teach okay. The core four. So yes, I do have an account for catch. And it's Andrea Schindler. That's where all of the scopes that uh, I've done since I've switched to my new account have been uploading. Unfortunately, the, the scopes on the old account were not uploading to catch. That's why we had to switch to this account. So, oh, thank you so much. I know I'm kind of eyeing the time. I'm, I'm hoping I get to go um, catch the end of the game. You don't have one to watch. I, I do have the catch account to watch. I don't know what else. And we have videos online. So, um, yes. Okay, thank you so much, guys. If there's any other questions out there, otherwise, I'm going to be signing off and running off to my son's baseball game. So thank you guys for being here and we will be meeting again next week. Next week we'll be picking back up where we left off with the levels of the scoreboard. So thanks guys, I'm really excited. I'm looking forward to it. Thanks for being here. I'll see you next week, same time. I'll be on time, not early next week, four o'clock Pacific time. So see you next week. Bye, everybody.